Hello guys, so, Christmas is coming so it's time for me to give the children a party You know, a grand fabulous party for the children And this video is about how much it costs to give its children their goodie bags that make their big smile like that So it's about the children's uh, party, how much it costs and their games if it's fun or not because you're gonna see a lot of them later okay see you later guys bye bye so this is my happiness guys to be able to share for my children in my neighborhood guys see fast approaching guys see so uh, what I did guys see I sold all of my junk well the junk that I cannot use for some sort for any reason so since that my house it's already um I already somebody's fixing my house so they take off all my roof and so on and so forth so now I went to the junk shop and sell everything okay so Christmas is fast approaching I, I've been doing this every year guys see since before the pandemic and then the pandemic hits okay so now i'm redoing it again guess what guys see i'm giving something for the children you know <laughs> because i would be more happier guys see so even if um uh, my house ruined and everything but still christmas is for children so i will make sure that these children's gonna be happy till the rest of the year okay guys see so i'm gonna show you something what i have here you know what I have here guys is all of all of their goodies guys see like their you know I budgeted guys see uh, for one kid for maybe a dollar okay because they're about maybe 70 kids there or more so I bought something for them like the goodies like their biscuits, their crackers, their chocolates, whatever the kids will be happy, I will be happy as well. Okay, so this is just for uh, giving back for the year that I have a, a happy life. I'm so very happy, guys. You have no idea how happy I am. Okay, so I want to spread happiness, kindness, and um, happiness, kindness, and happiness, kindness, and what else? Tell me, guys, what else? And positive vibes, okay. I the good vibes, okay. So I have lots of them here, guys. See, and I'm gonna open the other. Yeah. So this is what's going on, guys. See, for my um my entire year, I really did not give uh, so much for the church. You know, the tithing, the ten percent tithing. Which I'm not very church goer because I'm a Catholic, but I really did not give too much to the church because I have my own. Uh, thing to do every Christmas so I have my little senior citizens party and I have my children's party and PWD's party so that's why this time is my children's party so I'm gonna give each of them uh, this book is for me. so I, I will give each of them maybe a dollar a dollar budget for its kids <laughs> Yeah, it's always been like that, guys. See, and the last time, you know, I have fruits, I have apple, I have something. But this time, maybe I will just give them their goodies and some of the kilos of rice to be... I cannot afford everybody, okay? So I'm just gonna, to make it even, I'm just gonna raffle them. I guess that's fair enough, right? <laughs> and I still have another carton here, another box here of goodies as well. So I'm gonna show you guys see what I can. Pandemic. I have really a friend who volunteered to be a 
Santa and his wife. Yeah, they're from Australia. So it was really nice of them. Yeah, so they came and, you know, make us, you know, have a costume, a Santa costume. And everybody's happy. And that was uh, three years ago. And those kids, those are little, they were crying. And now they're growing up and now they're looking for Santa. But I said, oh, unfortunately, Santa is not here because he's in Australia, back in Australia right now. So I'm just going to give it to them. And before that, we're going to have a party as well. So I'm going to show you guys it. Yeah, this is cost around... Uh, I bought this for less than uh, $100 for all of this. Yeah, less than $100. Uh, $100 because I've been thinking, um, you know, my junk, it's not cost, uh, my junk is not cost so much. So I said, yeah, only the, you know, only my, if I can sell my junk. So I sold my junk and that's all it costs. Okay. And, oh, I have, I, oh, I have a receipt there. Yeah, this is less than $100, which is 4,110. And look at this guy. And I'm going to divide this into at least 70 children. But 
now when I buy this guy, see it's times 10 the price I think. Oh, it's a times 10. It's yeah, something like that. Yeah, I guess it's times 10 the price. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, guys, see, so this is my favorite. So this all this has always been a present for my uh for my giving goodies to the children. Yeah, so for 50 children, guys, see, do you all 70? Do you think this is more than enough for them? Okay. Yeah. So just imagine the budget of each children a dollar or so. So I have I have to I have to like you know share this like this little one piece. Of, you know I need to do this because if I don't, so to make it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm so blessed, look, guys, because I start a. Uh, start fixing the house now so thanks god it's almost it's a year already you know so okay so i don't want you to get bored so i'm just gonna show you what the kids can get for their for each uh doggy bag yeah this is a doggy bag i think before i put it in their their stockings so i don't wanna i, I don't wanna uh, what they hold up guys see like you know I just said to the kids that okay where's your stocking since that um no more pandemic and they were so excited and even the parents are excited that um that I'm gonna keep the children because that's really my um my pledge guys see every year that's my pledge so they have their stocking in their chapel and besides that aside from that they put yeah a little sack of rice empty empty sack of rice and I said why and then one of the mother heard me that I'm gonna um what do you call this a raffle uh kilos of rice pito kilos of rice for the children I don't know but then the, the adult people says the adult member of the channel says oh uh, why can't you know the children is just for foodies and there's for uh I can give the rice to them and I said yeah maybe uh yeah maybe because the children really want the uh, this junk foods rather than you know the parents want the rice you know because we're eating rice even if I don't eat that much but that's very important if you're a Filipino of rice you always eat rice no matter what <laughs> I just don't kind of eat of rice guys because I don't know every time I eat too much rice guys because I cannot control as long as we have a very uh, delicious bayan like maybe a soup chicken soup pork soup it really makes me so uh, eating more so that's why I avoid eating them because then I realize that then I, I become having a big tummy okay so I try to avoid that uh, rice thing but of course this uh, rice is our daily food three times I think guys eat Filipinos eat rice is that crazy yes it's true so that is why I said to myself that okay I'm not gonna eat rice but I'm gonna keep rice okay so I don't want you to keep bored guys see? so I'm gonna uh, repack this each of the doggy bags and put what's inside and then I will tell you what's inside for the 70 plus children look at that guys see the children are gonna be happy with this mm. okay guys see okay so finally guys see I'm done repacking for about 70 children and here it is guys see Oh my goodness, it took me so long. So this is the contents of each bag, guys. See, I have the cookies, I have the jelly A's, I have peanuts, I have milk, and I have this chocomocho. I have chocolates. So the entire of this plastic bag, guys, see, is uh, it's really like around one dollar. Yeah, one dollar US dollar, one dollar. Yeah, so this is all of their, uh, you know, what's inside the bags. <laughs> something like this for the 70 children. Yes, yeah, so something like this, guys, for 70 children. Yeah, plus that's all I can afford. Here's the chili A's here. I get, I give them like five chili each. Five chili A's each children, yeah. So I hope they're going to be happy with this, guys, because I'm going to give it... Um, uh, I guess tomorrow yes yeah, so we're gonna be tomorrow and we're gonna be to the um, we're going to go to the chapel tomorrow so all of this guys is 70 
pieces of uh, doggy bags. So I'm glad I still have my recycled my bags from before. So I just recycle it. And now, guys, I'm going to uh, get ready and prepare for everything because tomorrow would test would be given away to the children. Okay, so seven of them. And I hope they will be happy and grateful to receive something <laughs> from my roof, <laughs> from my destroyed roof. So, so it's time for me to put this inside the guys. See? As you can see, yeah, this is still the sacco bag, the sacco. Yeah, so seventy children, guys, see, it's not it's not easy so i just do hope that <laughs> that's all that's invented there no more no more other children to put their um what they call this their stockings there or else i'm gonna be running out and i cannot give anybody not anymore <laughs> so i will cross my finger that tomorrow is just 70 children and i will let you know guys see yeah, because even if there's an infant, guys, either the, the parents try to put, uh, you know, hang the, you know, even if it's infant, because it's included, it's, uh, what do you call this, it's counted, you know, even if it's an infant, they have the infant, or they have a toddler, they have a school kid, so it's until they're maybe 15, you know, as long as they're 15 years old, they can still put their uh, stockings there, so I hope. 70 for uh, all of this all of this guys see so 70 children won't be enough for me or else yeah because that's only 4100 divided into 70 and that's how i come up with uh 58 pesos so 58 pesos and the dollars now it's like something like that 58 pesos peso per one dollar us dollar so at least it's around like maybe one dollar or so okay guys see so i think i'm i have to get ready put this inside and tomorrow i'm gonna let you know all right okay so i'm gonna see you tomorrow guys see with the children because this way will be given away yes so okay guys see so it's already unpacked it's already uh uh put it piece by piece cut it piece by piece guys see and this is just a uh, overload of goodies guys see and i hope the kids would enjoy this thing you know when we were little i remember that we have a little christmas tree and then we put sap on it but in the morning uh, we did not get anything from santa so i thought we were very naughty <laughs> So, I don't know why, but I think we were very naughty. So, I want these children to be happy. So, when they receive this, because they deserve to be happy, Santa is coming to town to give them their goodies. So, even though it's a very cold at the North Pole, but Santa's really make time to go to the Philippines, especially to Cebu, to give these children a very good Christmas. Yes, I hope they will enjoy this thing. And I'm gonna repack it, put it in the doggy bag. And I have a ding dong here, like I have peanuts, chocolate, I have a, a wafer, then I have a. Yeah, something like this, like a chukumucho, like a, a cookies. Yeah, I have a cookies. I have, a, I think this is a cracker. Yeah. So everything, and I have milk. So everything here would be for the children. And this gonna, I want them to be happy. So if it's just a little, you know, it's not that much, but a little of something that keep them happy and you know when they receive it they will have a big smile on their face that's what i really want so this is a junk food like um cheese on chips yeah so that's a chips yeah so something like uh you know that i i'm gonna give it to them uh for every year guys see and um this is a tradition for me so i have already the I have already the um, senior citizens party the other week and this time was the children and the PW will come later okay so I think I see I'm gonna start 
repacking now of each one of a kind inside the plastic bags or the doggy bags. Yeah, so that's very yummy, guys. See, so I hope the children would enjoy it and remember this till the rest of the year. Okay, guys, see now the children are very excited to get all of their presents. Oh, come on, now, guys. in here or stockings yeah count guys count to pay the number three into three three and three Here we are guys, see, playing typical Filipino games such as the boat is sinking, bring me, sleepy dance, and popcorn. This is the part that I'm giving their gift bag. This is the Christmas village made by our community. Isn't it nice? The family here enjoy watching every night, including me. That's all for now guys see if you like my video don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification below and leave comments